Come on, big girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on out to the deep. Come on out here. Ugh. Come on over here, let's get a look at you. You got me pinned the whole time. Oh yeah. That is 27 all day. Come here, mama. What you got? Oh yeah, we got a good hook set. Ah, oh, she broke me right in the boat. Dang, <laughs> I put too much pressure on it. Tried to readjust my grip and <laughs> she, she broke me just like that. It's okay, I'm in an area where there's gonna hopefully be some more, right? We're gonna cross our fingers. But welcome back to Low Country Fishing, you guys. My name is Dan, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Uh, I don't normally play around and lose a lot of redfish at the boat because I just kind of grab them with a the net, but I'm not fishing on my boat today, so uh, I kind of still need to dig around and figure out where the net is on this thing but uh, i am on my buddy's fx17 today this is uh the sundance fx17 commonly known as the flicker it's a very shallow water boat uh beautiful thing 17 foot long drafts in about seven inches of water or so top speed close to 40. this is my absolute favorite boat i fish out of a lot of my buddy's boats i have a good 22 foot sea hunt bay boat but i tell you guys this is my absolute favorite so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to push around the back country. I'm going to fish around some of these brackish water areas in search of some big red fish like you guys hopefully got a chance to see there and just see if we can put together some nice fish, right? I just want to put a nice video out for you guys just doing something a little bit different than I would normally do this time of year. So thanks again for the support, you guys. Stick around till the end and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so just as soon as, uh, of course, I lose that fish, guess what I found? Found the net was sitting over here in the side gunnels. So uh, that's just kind of the luck I have sometimes. But uh, if you guys got a chance to see in the intro, I am throwing the Texas Eye, 3 16 ounce, and this is the Z-Man Minnows in that root beer body with a chartreuse tail. Really, really good color combination for some of this dark brackish water. Dark bait, lots of sparkle, lots of flash, or should I say and then that contrasting tail really gets their attention. Now it's an unscented bait. I don't have any pro cure with me, so I'm gonna just be fishing the way this thing looks here today. But I tell you guys, this is a dynamite bait to be using in some of this dark water. Gotcha. There's another good one. Come on, big girl. There we go. Nice slot there, boy. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get her to come up. She loves the head for that bottom of that boat. Every time they get close. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look how pretty, you guys. Beautiful gold and copper color. Gorgeous little spot on the tail. She's still got just a touch, just a touch of blue. It was lighting up when I was pulling her in just a little bit. But man, look at that. Got her on that Texas side with that little three inch minnows. Unbelievable fish. This right here is uh, tail pinched out 21 inch redfish. This is an absolute gorgeous redfish. So I'm gonna get her back and see if we can get another one. All right, so check this out. I got something a little unusual going on here with the fishing trip already. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm on my buddy's boat. We had this thing sitting in his warehouse with the trolling motor battery plugged in and charged up. But unfortunately, last time we fished in it, we left the switch on for the main cranking battery and that cranking battery barely has enough juice. It crunk up at the boat ramp fine, but once I got out here and uh, started relocating, kind of moving around some spots, it doesn't want to re-crank. So thank God I said a little prayer and that thing got crunk up and I'm not gonna be stranded. But now I'm kind of left with two choices. So option number one is I pack up all my gear, I make a run back towards uh, the boat ramp, put it on the trailer and just go fish another day, which for me 
Kind of stinks because this is the only decent day of weather with the, the days off that I have that's coming up this week. So I kind of don't want to do that. So I'm going to have to go with option number two, and that's to leave that motor running pretty much the whole time I'm out here fishing. Now, these little small Yamaha 70s have an alternator on it that charge the battery very, very subtly, right? It's not like a quick charge like your car would do. So I can't really guarantee the fact that if I leave it running for an hour and turn it off, it'll crank back. I got to bat on the fact that this thing is just not going to recrank on me. So we're going to see if we can continue to catch redfish with a motor on. Now, both of those redfish were up shallow. I am sitting in a little bit deeper of a channel out here at eight feet. Those fish were in two feet and they don't seem to mind the motor noise already. So hopefully that trend will continue and I can continue to keep uh, looking for some of these fish shallow. But uh, it is a little bit of a uh, pucker factor to say the least, being this far away from home and not having a cranking battery that I can rely on. So we're gonna keep doing what we're doing and cross our fingers, we'll find some more redfish. All right, let's see. Let's see who might be home over here. I did see a little bit of bait pushing right in this little pocket. Need to stay off the bank as much as I can. There we go. Tide is going out, so I'm just gonna kinda drift down the river. And if it looks good, I'll give it a shot. There's a bite. Oh, that was a miss. Man. Come on back for that one. This little spot here looks so good. Creek dumping out. Looks like some little trees or pieces of wood. There she is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go baby. Look at that redfish. Boy, she is not happy. She's trying to break me off. <laughs> little spot lock right here. Hi honey. I know, I was just talking about how I, uh, I missed your bite the first time and I wasn't gonna give up. There she is, a little bit of blue in that tail. Good hook, Sad. I see that hook pushed all the way through the edge of her mouth right there. I don't like how she keeps rolling though. Come here, sweetheart. The hook, that's good. There we go. Another absolute beauty. This girl here, she's going to be pushing over slot or right at it. Yep, that's 25 inches. That's over our limit here in Georgia and in South Carolina. God is good, you guys. What a beautiful creature he's made here for us. And we're going to get that hook out and get her back. All right, baby. Back she goes. Let's get in here a little bit closer. I got a pocket with what looks like some timber in here. Money. Got him. Boom! <laughs> Woo! Like clockwork. Spot lock right here. And stay out in the channel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another nice red. Come on. Where you at? Come on up. Let's see how big you are. Oh, yeah. Watch out for that trolling motor. Don't get in it. Don't get in it. <sighs> oh, man. How pretty, if she'll stay tight. How pretty are these fish, you guys? Unbelievable. This is Georgia and South Carolina's sport fish, hands down. Are they the best eating fish in the water? No, they're not. Are they the prettiest? Absolutely. And they're the most fun to catch. Good power, they'll bend a rod, they make you happy, they make me happy. And I know you guys at home enjoy seeing these fish. So 
gorgeous girl right here. Again, every bit of 22 inches or so, 23. I'll get her measured out and we'll drop her back in. Another one. Another one. That is back to back cast there. Is that a trout? A lot of head shaking. Maybe just a little guy. Nope, that's a flounder. <laughs> Come on in, Flatty. Come here, patty cake. What? All right, how pretty is this fish? Gorgeous little river flounder here. They are camouflaged on one side and white on the other. Not only that, but they've got eyeballs that are both on one side of the head, just like that. Because all they do is they spend their life laying flat just like this on the uh, the mud and as soon as they see something swim by they just swim straight up eat and then go right back down so i'm not interested in keeping fish today but i did want to take an opportunity to show you guys this beautiful flounder i'll get her unhooked and well, let's get her back see you girl what's going on oh i see you up there in that cove still She's chasing bait. Oh, let's creep up there. Let's creep up there. We'll come back to this. Oh, now there's another big swirl right there. Okay, let's stay here. <laughs> We've got fish all around here. I do need to come a little bit closer to make that shot. I got fish crashing right there. I got fish crashing right there on that point as well. I think I found the honey hole. I can just get my bait in there. Yep, there's some over there. We might have a school of redfish cruising this edge right here. It's nice when it's really glassy out like this too, because you can, s there's a bite. Got her. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Woo. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yes. Yes, look at her. Oh, she's got to get her away if I can. She's going to blow her friends out. Look at that fish. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you, Lord. Now if I can just get her to the boat. Boy, she is fast. Come on up, let me see. Come on up, let me see. Oh, baby. That is 30 inches. Yes, sir, that is 30 inches. Oh, I am glad I grabbed the Falcon XG. I got the medium light Zodius with me today too, but I am glad I grabbed the bigger rod. Cause she would have flat, took me down there where I just got broke off for sure. Hi, big mama. Look at you. Come on, I'm gonna have to net this fish for sure. Ah, oh, she's under the boat. Get out of there. I got a trolling motor up there. No, get out of there, too. Oof. She is very green. I haven't even got a chance to see that hook set, either. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Look at you. Look at you. That is not a good hook set either. It is right on the edge of that mouth. Oh no! <laughs> Georgia baby that just died on me, buddy. Let's see if this works. Oh. One, two, three. Wow, I got her. <laughs> Look at this net. George, we gotta get a new net for the flicker, buddy. All right, big girl. You ba, 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 are gonna no are gonna need bogas because I don't want you flopping all over the deck. This is grandma out here making all the babies, and I don't want to damage her. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Boy, what an absolute powerful fish! This is as big as these fish get in these rivers, you guys. Thirty-two. 
Jeez, man. Let's go back here and I'm gonna let her go. All right there, big mama. No rush on you, okay? We're here for you. There's one little bump. When they make that first little initial bump like that, trying to swim away, don't let go. That could be just a uh, reflex oxygen getting back in and it just kind of hit hit real quick like that. You want to wait till she's either swimming, you see those little pectoral fins flaring pretty good, or she tries to swim away under her own power. So again, this is why I bring bogas on my boat for these big old fish like this. I don't want her to slip out of my hands, wind up floating down the river and become shark bait. I want to take my time and revive her properly because this is mama back here. We got to take care of these fish, guys. She's trying to swim, trying to swim. Come on, push, baby. Trying to swim. You got it. There you go. You got it. There you go. You got it. One more time. No rush here, guys. Absolute no rush. There she goes. <laughs> Beautiful girl. Right down to the bottom. Uh. Be there. Yep, gotcha. You were there. <laughs> Another big one, jeez. This is the day of the monsters. Oh, I don't think I got a good hook set on her either. I'll hold her right here. I got her away from the structure. Give her a second to breathe. Oh boy, 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 boy. What a pretty redfish there. Multiple spot species. Ugh. 25 inch, 26 probably pushing it. Gorgeous fish. All right. Hook set's good. Let's get her with a baby broke net. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> All right, pretty girl. There she is. Another gorgeous one. Look at the color now that the sun's hitting her. Nice little triple spots, three on one side. I'm looking at the same three over here on my side. Beautiful girl, got her unhooked, same paddle tail. Very healthy, very lively fish. This girl right here came in at 25 and a half inches. Beautiful, beautiful redfish. All right guys, what an unbelievable day out here on the water. In about two hours, I was able to get out here and boat I think 11 good quality size redfish. Now, unfortunately, all those redfish that I caught were over slot. I think some of the fish are, is just not gonna be able to make the video because I try not to make these videos 45 minutes long. But either way, man, good quality fish today, can't complain. Now, I do have the weather blowing in on me, so I do wanna get out of here and not get rained on because I do have quite a long ways to go to get back to the house in Richmond Hill. So thank you guys again for the support. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way out. And again, if you're interested in picking up some iStrike fishing jig heads, as well as any Z-Man materials or products that is on David's website, head on over to iStrikeFishing.com, use promo code LCF10, and get yourself some savings. So thanks guys. See you on the next video. Take care. God bless.